everyone, this is the Infinite Disarray. We're gonna jump into episode 8. Yep, sorry the previous episode, or the previous, well, the last episode, last part of episode 7, yeah. Sorry that one was so short. Can't, can't really, you know, do too much about it. That was, I guess, just the final battle for that episode. Anyway, anatomy for disaster. Or, uh, I think that's what it said. Anatomy to destroy? I don't know. East across Just the Atlantic Ocean. Video Stole time! A giant airborne fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host, Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius, and it wasn't long before the Claw Gang took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes, and now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together and when that happens, well, I'm not going to let that happen. Well, I was right. Anatomy for disaster. I guess we already climbed out of the battery. Let's look around. Oh, let's go steal stuff. Like yo money. Goodbye. Is this? No, no, no. That. I don't know why I didn't think to check. No one's. Oh, man. Doom, do, 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 do. Oh. Doom, 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 Over there. Running! Running! I don't know what you guys are looking for. I have no idea. I ain't see anything. Nope. Nothing around here. Jeez, okay, I'm gonna go up there. Let's take a look around as to how. Okay. Go up here. Up here. Somehow, <laughs> Bell is distracting me. Lay down, dog.
to be your buddy. That too. Okay, what? I have to get over there. Okay. I'll just chill right here for a second. Never know when you'll need bunnies. Okay. Sounds good. I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. His hat magically appears back on his head. To build a plan, we need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. Under control. Everything's always under control. Dun 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 oops dun 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 I had no idea they could reassemble so fast Calm down Bentley doesn't mean he's piece, working. But he doesn't appear to be, you know, alive. Let's stick to the format here. How about some recon photos? You're right. We need to be informed to create a plan of action. Try to get a shot of Clockwork's head, a mech egg, and one of those a mech egg. Producers. They seem important to the procedure, but stay away from the guards. If you get detected, we won't have time for a second chance. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Whatever. What the freak ever? I'm running! Open the door! I didn't do nothing, I swear! Oh god! Oh! He turned around too soon! Too soon! Okay, okay, what's this? Do I hit it? No. Right. Nope. Okay. Dude, this is clockwork. How am I going to do this? Uh, 
Need places in which I can hide. Awfully mad. An egg, huh? An egg. Just weird. I'm detecting voices from the front of the blimp. I think it's arpeggio. I see you! I see you! Bitches! That spot was perfect for it! There he is. <laughs> yes, this bar! That's holding the glass together. style but I need a quick plan of attack try to think of a way any way to stop clockwork from getting reassembled well those magnetic inducers seem to be holding the parts together if you reverse their polarity it should pull clockwork apart unfortunately the inducer speed control station is locked down tight pickpocket keys for the four patrolling guards to get at it then you'll need to manually uh, reverse the of each inducer deck at the top of their rotation. Consider it done. There's one. Uh, 
Oops. Side. That was really freaking annoying. At this point, I'm pretty much just winging it. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yes, okay. And now I have to get the one from the standing guy. He's really not doing his job, I'm just saying. Not much of guard there, sir. You're really not. Okay, maybe that was a bit easier than... Each 
Like it's just so freaking easy. How am I going to get up there? Let's take a look around! Well, I know I can get up there, problem. Ah. Done! Um. And now what? I don't think I quite thought this through. Um. Really? I go back over here. No. Oh, well, that was a pain in my rump. Guess I'll just have to wait here. So. That bitch. She betrayed us. Did I already do that one? Yeah, I did. Come on. I'm waiting for you. There we go. Okay. And this should be the last one. Yay! This is actually taking a bit longer than I anticipated. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Bomb diggity. What's all this thing? The magnets have been reversed. Hey, but by Jove, it seems to have locked the clockwork parts into place. Oh. <laughs> Oops, my bad. This would be your doing. Ah, Mr. Cooper. No doubt you believed a reversal would pull the old bird apart, eh? <laughs> but it seems to have quite the opposite effect. I'm truly grateful. When Good for you, up, stupid parrot. Circuit and be born a moon. All this because you can't fly. You're ah, you mad, bro? Immortality is what I seek. The other Claw Gang members were much too short-sighted. They were satisfied using the clockwork parts to drive their various trivial schemes. But not me. Money! No. I saw them for what they really were. The keys to life eternal. So, what? You had Neela put me on the scent back in Cairo, and then waited while I stole the parts from the other Claw Gang members. All the while not arousing any suspicion that you were behind it all? You make it sound easy, Cooper. I had to carry your pathetic gang through that first set of heists. 
Oh, I shut your face. When Arpeggio let me toss you in jail, I could finally go after the parts myself. Ah, but acquiring all the parts was only half the equation. Think, Koopa, what kept Clockwork alive for thousands his of years? His hatred. He was fueled by his hatred for my family. Splendid. That's right. Hatred. Putting his gears and wires together was child's play compared with accumulating that much yeah, hatred. What a dick. You can't make people hate. Oh, my poor naive boy. My meticulous mind has found a way. As your hippopotamus friend will attest, spice consumption makes eh. you both angry. Spice and has very bad connotations these days. I wonder if that's why they called it spice. The uh, synthetic drug. At least I, I'm pretty sure it was one of those synthetic drugs. They stopped selling it at stores. Never tried it myself though. Spice sounds spicy. <laughs> that is all I can really say. You've been collecting northern light energy so you could hypnotize everyone beneath the Yeah. Ah, hypnotize those That's about it. Food covered in illegal spice. Thank goodness for Dimitri. Through his nightclub, he got the whole city to consume the spice. You're going to Paris to unleash a hypnotic light show of hate. That's outlandish. A light show. Cruel. Cruel, perhaps. So many adjectives in this. Is it to show off that he is so brainy ish? What a hag. Stupid arpeggio. I double crossed the Cooper guy, Interpol, and Carmelita. What made you think I wouldn't do the same to you? What a bitch. You're my protege. Not the next candidate for my immortality. I demand you exit the clockwork frame or. or. Well. That's about it for Arpeggio. That was relatively quick. Clockla! <laughs> That's hilarious. Clockla. What kind of freaking name is that? Well. I think we did bad. We did a very bad thing. Yep. As we all know, things are looking grim. Neela has joined herself to the clockwork frame and the union has produced Clockla. She's out and free to terrorize the world. This blimp is still in motion to Paris. I can only assume Arpeggio's autopilot will activate the hate hypnosis light show. If that happens, there will be no stopping Clockla. She'll be immortal. But we still have a chance. In her new form, she'll need to draw a lot of energy from this blimp's engines to stay strong. If we can disable the engines, that should be enough to weaken her to a state in which we can attack. Getting at these engines will require all three of us to work together in perfect harmony. We've pulled off some tough jobs in the past, but they were just a warm-up round for what we'll be going through tonight. Sorry about all that clicking you heard. I thought it was on mute. I guess I, um, hit the button again. Oopsie. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope to join me next time for... Clockla. We'll see how this is gonna go. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for laughing, and I hope you weren't too frustrated with my terrible pickpocketing, because, man, that was horrible! I'm probably even worse in 